Um, in this, you know, very spontaneous video, I want to talk about the fact that you really should not be comparing yourself to other guys online, like to other entrepreneurs online. Because let's be honest, gentlemen, if you run your own business, if you are somehow related to the whole online entrepreneur space, like in, if you're in this bubble, if you're a part of this bubble, then there are a few, let's say, big names that you always compare yourself to, or like, you know, other guys that you um, see on Instagram, you know, you check what they're doing, you see their results, their lifestyle, this and that, and you're like, fuck, you know, I thought I've been doing good. I thought I put in the work. I thought my results were going pretty decent right now, you know, uh, compared to what I thought would be possible a few years ago. But now seeing what they're doing, I feel like shit. Now, um, I, I don't think I have to tell you that this is a very, very bad thing, right? Comparing yourself to other people makes you feel like shit every single time. It's a, it's a complete ego thing, right? When you compare yourself to other people, your ego is literally screaming out of you, right? Um, so you need to, to a certain extent, take control over that. Now, besides the fact that you should not be doing that because obviously it's not a good thing, um, I want to tell you that you genuinely should not be comparing yourself to every single thing that you see online because in most cases, you know, chances are very high. The thing that you see isn't truly how it is kind of presented to be, right? Here's the thing. For example, like a very big example, when you see a picture of a guy, you know, driving a Lambo, for example, um, can be, at least for me, you know, when I was starting out and I was kind of um, following a few guys here and there and then out of nowhere, I see them driving Lambos and Porsches and this and that. And I was like, Bro, like we started like at the same time. How is it possible that you're already driving a Lambo? But obviously, you know, when you go to places like Dubai, for example, you know, which I'm at, uh, you know, where I'm at right now, you can rent a Lambo for like four, five, six hundred-ish euros per day. You know, that's not like crazy cheap, but still, compared to the normal price of a Lambo, which is like what 200k plus, 600 per day, like anyone can somehow manage to do that, right? Especially when you're running your own business. Um, and then taking pictures with that and posting that, you know, it seems like, wow, okay, this guy made it. But if you break it down, it's, it's just a rental, you know, five, six hundred euro-ish, and that's it. Now, that's a very obvious thing. But besides of that, a lot of the things that you see online from very big guys, let's say, um, aren't like 1,000% true. I'm not saying everyone is lying. I'm not saying, you know, they're not true to themselves, that they don't kind of um, um, preach what they teach. But sometimes, you know, people, especially bigger guys, you know, they aren't stupid, right? And to a certain extent, I know a few of them, let's say like that. Um, they're very good at marketing, right? They know exactly what sells. They know exactly how they need to present themselves, how they, how they need to um, picture things, like certain things, you know, to make people buy their courses, their coachings, whatever it might be. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know. Marketing is a very useful tool, obviously, right? Uh, especially in business. Um, but I just want you to know that not every single thing that you think is true, like it has happened, actually has happened. Especially not the way that you think that it has happened. So that's a very big thing um, because the more I got into this whole business, you know, space, the more I connected with a lot of people, you know, from very different industries, you know, people that you probably also look up to and watch on YouTube and on Instagram, this and that. I can guarantee you, first of all, also just normal guys like you and me, like especially, you know, when they're young as well. Obviously, they're exactly like you and me. There's nothing crazy different, you know, between you and them. There's nothing that really separates them, like from you, for example, besides of the fact that they really have been putting in the work like crazy for the last weeks, months, or even years before that. But besides that, to get back to the point, normal guys, normal human beings, normal people, pretty much, right? Um, and second of all, sometimes, you know, um, those guys also don't do every single thing that they preach about online, like teach about online, right? Especially when we talk about enjoying yourself, like, you know, being very disciplined. A lot of those guys also like to enjoy themselves from time to time, you know, to get drunk as fuck, to smoke cigarettes, like, you know, do, let's say, different, like, like other things, you know, let's put it like that, right? And, you know, I'm not here to judge, I'm just trying to tell you that Every single person is a human being at the end of the day. No matter how they present, try to present themselves online, they're just human being. And also, they just, you know, they're young, young guys, and they also want to enjoy their life. So, I want you, you know, from this video, like if you watch this video, if you're still watching, by the way, amazing, you know, I love to, I love to see the commitment. And thank you for your time, first of all. I want you to know that not every single thing that you see online is truly how it seems to be. So, please keep that in mind. 
because whenever you see success, you really should be fucking happy about that, right? It doesn't matter if you just made 5K, 10K, 50, 100K the last month, for example, be proud of yourself because you actually showed up and you put in the work and you actually did something on your own. You actually build that vision, you know, you got closer to building a vision to achieving those goals that you always had in your mind, right? So be proud of that. And don't compare yourself to other people because a lot of the guys, also, you know, our like Mind Plus members, you know, I even after they achieved something, they, you know, hopped on Instagram and they checked out, okay, I actually did an amazing job, but this guy did like 10 times more than me. So automatically I suck, right? And then you kind of fall into this very um, dark kind of uh, space where you lose your energy and drive and motivation, right? Because you don't feel like you're progressing, even though you're pro progressing like crazy, actually, on your own terms, you know, in your own kind of um, um, pace, right? So please keep that in mind. Don't compare yourself to other people, first of all. And second of all, you really should not be doing that whatsoever. Because in most cases, you're comparing yourself to illusionary things. That's exactly the same thing as for girls when they compare themselves to like, you know, uh, beauty ideals, right? When they see like beautiful women, you know, models on Instagram, you know, flawless skin, body, this and that. And they're like, okay, I worked out today. I improved my body, but comparing, comparing myself to this woman right now, I actually look like shit. That is literally, exa like, literally exactly the same thing as for, you know, entrepreneurs and guys uh, with uh, other guys and their success pretty much, right? Um, so yeah, gentlemen, keep that in mind. Um, keep doing what you're doing because you're fucking doing an amazing job, you know, if you're actually showing up every single day, if you're disciplined enough to show up every single day. So keep doing that. Don't compare yourself to other people and also know that they're also just a human being exactly like you. So also for you right now watching, um, enjoy the process, enjoy yourself from time to time. Very important, especially when you're a young guy. Enjoy the whole process. Um, you know, the, the, the way truly is the goal. Um, so yeah, that being said, gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.